Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I couldn't stay away from this game. It's really good fun. I've played it twice and for whatever reason, those two videos didn't get that many views really. Um, don't know why, could be for a number of reasons, but I'm sure those of you who did watch those videos will agree that it was great fun. I mean, 85 meters away. Nah, mate, that's insanity. Some of the photos I have had have been hilarious, but I should mention to those who haven't seen this what this is. It's pretty simple. We get a photo, could be significant historically, could be not, and we have to successfully identify the date that it was taken, or the year rather, as well as where it was taken. And as well as it making for some potentially hilarious detective work, I'm thinking about the Fabio Capello incident. Right, it's Fabio Capello. Oh, it actually is, is it? But it's also got a great challenge element to it as well. I got a really good score the second time I played it of 46,573. Let's try and beat that, but let's just have some fun. Wow, 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 okay, let's, Start things off with a bang then. That is Paul McCartney. And that's gotta be Abbey Road. And that is Linda McCartney. Well, it doesn't have to be Abbey Road. But we are recording in other news. Um, doesn't have to be Abbey Road, but I think what Paul is doing there is he's, you know, having a laugh and referencing Abbey Road. He's with Linda McCartney who's got a pony for some reason. Over the road, I don't know who we've got over there. Here we have um, a car, not quite sure what car it is, but VLU 159S, so it's an old S reg. Let me try and figure out what year that car is from. So an old S reg. D is 64, E 65, F 66, 76. So that car, I th according to my, my calculations, is, was made in 1976. But might not be brand new. That car might not be brand new. We can't do what we usually do. Well, no, it's because I've been playing too much um, Geo Detective that I think I can just find this... Uh, you know, put the man down and find this road, see what it looks like. We've just got the map for us to find Abbey Road and quite honestly, I don't know how easy that's going to be for me. I believe it's somewhere north of Regent's Park, but God knows. Can I actually find Abbey Road? It's very iconic, but it's not that central. This is the problem. And this map is already pissing me off. Okay, wish me luck in finding Abbey Road. I'll let you know how long it takes me. Okay, we got there in the end. I was looking in the right area that whole time, but I was looking east to west. Anyway, never mind. Where are the studios? Here they are. Do we have a bend in the road? Looks like we have a slight one and it looks like we're on a junction. Would we be heading north or south here? There are slight shadows, look. Can you see those shadows? So that would indicate that the sun, let's say we're facing north. Yeah, if we were facing south, that would put the sun slightly in the northern half of the sky. So I think we'll be facing north there because the road is slightly northwest running. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, here, I mean that star there, that's got to be, I mean, is that the crossing? Is that what the crossing is? Quite possibly. Abbey Road, I can't see anything up there. Yeah, there's Abbey Road Studios right next to it. So I think I'm ready to to go for that. 
I am, and it is slightly bending, look. I think I've nailed this. Oh, the date, of course, the date. 1976 is when the car is from. But just for good measure, should we go 77? Or even 78, 79? I'm going to go 78. 77, and I'm spot on with the guess. Oh my God, Paul and Linda McCartney crossing Abbey Road with a pony. I don't know what year I would have gone if it weren't for the car. Maybe around that time. I just had a feeling about that guess, uh, that, that it was right. I was quite confident with it. Um, and we have got a cracking score there. Let's, let's carry on. May this continue. Sadly, I can't challenge you on this um, so that you can play along. But you'll just have to watch and admire on this occasion. Next round. Oh, yes. Look at this. It's another Brit. It's, it's Britain again. We're going to have to look at some more old cars. Look at that beautiful Fiat Panda. Right. This is Wales. Woolworths, man. Since when was it Woolworth? I thought it was Woolworths. Anyway, here we have some Welsh. Strid Fower, High Street, E. Glyn, Robert Parry and Sons. The Castle Pub we have. So presumably this is a place with a castle. <sighs> that looks like pretty 80s clobber, doesn't it? Although Wales can be a few, a handful of years behind the fashion. Um... Just checking out some of these shops. The quality is such that we can't really read too much back there. But yeah, these were the days. That's a Maestro. Do you remember those cars? You don't see them anymore. Maestro. Who made those? Some British company that went kaplunk, I think. Um, now, that is a D-Reg. And it looks quite new. But... I think the car is more likely to be brand new in London. It was two years old, but more money, newer cars, right? So this car could be five years old. It's just weird to look at cars like that and think that it's new. Because to me, I always see that as, a, as a, an old car. The place that I've got in mind on this occasion is um, Carnarfon. I think this is our best bet to look at this castle and try and decide which castle that is. Is that a boat? A boat in a moat? You don't get boats in moats, do you? I think that's a boat on the sea. Yeah, and then that's a reflection. So this castle is by the sea. So I'm thinking, and luckily, well, luckily I'm from Britain and I've, I've been to some of these places, but You've got Carnarfon. Let's check that out. That's a huge castle. And it is by the sea. So it could easily be that. And also, on top of that, it looks like this photo or painting is from the other side. And you can see the land there, which would beautifully correlate with that. However, I just want to quickly look at Conwy Castle. Because that's another big one. Yeah, look, there's another. Can't see the outline of it, but this could be Conway. High Street. Ooh, we can, we can look for a high street. Yeah, we can look for this pub for Pete's sake. High Street. Also, we've got shadows. Let's use the shadows. Shadow is coming from behind, so that's roughly north. High Street. Do we have the pub? Surely this pub's still open. Wouldn't be like Britain for pubs to close down. We do have a high street, but I can't see the pub. Now the problem I have with that is the junction doesn't line up. Why am I acting like it does when it doesn't? So that for me doesn't add up at all, but we'll bear it in mind. Now let's go to Carnarfon and see if we have a high street here. We've got Castle Street. I don't think we have a high street there. No high street. Interesting. We've got to continue the search. I'm going on a castle hunt. Wish me luck. Carmarthen. No high street. Tenby. There is a high street. But it's not our high street. Does that say Pulheli? 
think that might be it, you know. Pull heli. Look. Look. Is there a castle? Please be a castle. Alright, please be a high street then. High street. E castle. Boom. It doesn't run north to south, the, does the high street. But that simply means that the sun, I would say it's about, it's late afternoon. Because if we're looking east, which we are, the sun is in the west and it's casting a shadow. If this Fiat Panda is a sundial, we can see that it's probably about 5 p.m. No, it depends what time of year it is. But yeah, we're there. Um, now for the year. Well, I'm going to make it quite quick. The car is from 1987, I believe. And we've got to bear in mind that Wales are slightly behind on the times, or they would have been at this point. I'm going to say 1990, the year I was born. Oh, it's 89. Oh, I was so close to going 89. It serves me right for uh, having a light-hearted, jokey stab. Um, 89, so that car, again, is two years old. Maybe that's the average. If we see a car from a certain year, and I'm only going to be able to work it out if it's in Britain, we go two years later, if it looks new. That car, imagine that car being two years old. I don't know, I just can't, I can't wrap my head around it. Anyway, here we go. Oh, we're in Britain again. Maybe, are we? That looks like a Native American, but the coppers and the buildings look British. Maybe this will be a Great Britain edition, we'll see. Take down your gun, buddy, and go home. So it's about the Vietnam War. Already I can see this one's going to be a lot harder. Both location and date. So this is where it inevitably ramps up. This is London. That might even say London. I don't know what... No, it's probably just the word on. Uh, this is from the Vietnam War, surely. It's not a, it's not a Native American. At first glance, I thought it was, but this... Well, I might still be wrong, but I think that's a, a Vietnamese woman with a gun to her head. Take down your gun, buddy, and go home. That's got to be about Vietnam. Yeah, if it was Geodetective, I could go into Street View and have a little look at some of the buildings around kind of Trafalgar Square, that sort of area. But this is going to be about damage limitation now. I am going to go near 10 down it. But we weren't involved, were we? Maybe they're just protesting, you know, about Vietnam. Stranger things have happened. Um, so I think I'm going to play it quite boring and safe. And I'm going to try and find 10 Downing Street, which is around here somewhere. There it is. Where's the House of Parliament? Yeah, down here. I think I think around here somewhere. Parliament Square, right? And I'm going to say, I'm going to go there and I'm going to say 19... Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going in the 50s. Let's see now, let's see now. There were a lot of protests in 68, 69. I know that. Let's go 68. Wow. So I've got the year right, but the location is uh, just over a mile away in Grosvenor. Grosvenor. Gros. How the fuck? How do you say that? Grosvenor. Anyway, it's there. Grosvenor Square. Yeah, it's 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 pretty it's in Mayfair. It's near Hyde Park, so it's pretty central. But I'm quite pleased to have got that year. You know, that's the height of Vietnam and I was watching a documentary about the Beatles the other day and they were saying how 67 was the summer of love, 68 loads of protests, mayhem. So the score is still really good here. It's still really good, but now the Britishness ends and we move to America. Oh dear. Or at least we have an American woman in the photo. Now, now, now. Now then. This is Marilyn Monroe visiting troops in... Where is she visiting these troops? Did she go to Vietnam? 
I think I read or saw on a documentary that she she may have travelled to Vietnam to rally the troops. So what year would that have been? When did she die, Marilyn Monroe? That is the question, isn't it? Marilyn Monroe died if I was to guess sixty six, but I really I really don't know. Wait, when did Elton John release Candle in the Wind? 70s. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because she's gone out there. I think she's gone out there in like 66 or something like that. But what's going to be hard about this one is is the geography of it. It's not north, is it? It's going to be it's going to be down here. Where were the Americans based? I just don't know. I just don't know. Where's Saigon? I know that was that was quite important. I can't see it. Actually, maybe... Maybe that is Saigon. Ho Chi Minh City. Maybe that's just the Western name we gave it. I don't know, but... We've got mountains here. It looks hilly, so I can't, I can't go in Ho Chi Minh. It's too flat. And we're obviously in the countryside anyway, so I'm going to, this is impossible situation, but I'm going to go there and I'm going to go 1966. If she was dead by then, then I'm sorry. I, I, is it even her? I think so. I may have got multiple elements of this drastically wrong. I just don't think the war was raging enough earlier than 66 to warrant this situation. I know it was going earlier. I don't know exactly when it started, maybe even 1960. But I don't think it was really raging. Maybe I go 65. I'm going to change the marker to there. Let's see. Brace yourselves for a drop in points. Oh no, I've got the wrong war altogether. I told you I was going to get something cataclysmically wrong here. Oh God, that ruins my score. I knew she, I thought she died earlier than this. She died in 62. I got confused. I thought she may have died earlier, but then I just thought John F. Kennedy, that whole thing, she must have been famous in the 60s as well. But 11 years out, man, and the wrong war altogether. <laughs> Daegu. Shut up. Last round. Okay. Right, this is a famous bridge. And I believe it's in either Bosnia. No, I think it might be in Bosnia. I was going to say Albania or Montenegro. But I actually think this is in Bosnia, which is quite big. I think they may have had to rebuild this bridge, you know. I don't know. Uh, anyway, all I know is people jump off it into the deep river below. Let's have a look at the shadows here. The sun seems to be over there, which indicates that... And it's quite high in the sky, so that, that helps, actually, I think. So that means we're looking south. The river... Is flowing south, southish, southish, and I think it is flowing that way. I think you can tell that. Yeah. So in that case, then I don't think that's really going to help us find it. Sadly, we're up in the mountains somewhere. The northern border is a big river. This is about looking at the, the watershed, actually. This might help us. Look at this river here. This flows north into this larger river, which then flows into the Danube. So, apart from the possibility that, you know, we're in a little kink that goes north, you know, because rivers do meander, I think it's more likely that we're down down this side and that the river flows south 
towards the sea. We're definitely in the mountains. Oh man, this is going to be hard, isn't it? I don't know what this place is called and I should. I definitely should. The river is flowing south. I'm pretty sure because of that little tributary there. Old bridge. Crooked bridge. Could we be there? It's not really crooked as such. But I've put the pin down in a place called Moss Star for now. I don't see much on the other side. Nah. Nah, we're not there. Could we be in Montenegro? We could be, but I've got Bosnia in my head. Jabali Jabalanika Bridge. Screw it, that's where I'm going to have to go. The Jalanika Bridge and the year here, I'm going to say, is 1980. It's hard to tell from the fashion here. I'm going to go with that. Ooh, ooh, wow. Hey, that's much better than I thought in the end. Wow, 35 kilometers away, we were... A bit further north. No, 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 no. We were further south in... Don't say it was Mostar. It bloody was Mostar. I don't believe it, mate. No, we're not there. Oh, no. I looked over here. Over there, look. There's nothing over there. And there's apparently a huge city. Just to the, just to the right of that shot. I am... Pretty devastated about that. But, 1980, spot on. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, destroyed in the 90s during the Bosnian War. That's sad. Its reconstruction is seen as a symbol of reconciliation and healing in post-conflict Bosnia and Herzegovina. Final score is lower than my record. It was that awful Marilyn Monroe round that scuppered it all. Nonetheless, though, I had great fun playing that, as always. Honestly, I love this game. I don't know how many photos are on it in their database, so I don't know how good it is in that sense. Not even sure about the accuracy of things, in all honesty, but assuming it is, uh, then it's a cracking, cracking game. I urge you to go and play it. As I say, shame you can't play the same game together, but all the same, I hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you very soon. Let me know if you want to see more. Until then, take care.